velocity. This thing looks like a rocket or a bomb, but it had nothing to do with fire. In fact, it travelled underwater, and a hundred years ago, it might have saved your life. What do you think it is? It is, or was, a highlight in its day. It was the frictionless propeller log, and it was used to tell a ship how far and fast it had gone. It worked like this. You had it tied onto a long rope, and you dropped it over and towed it behind the ship. Now that housing there can actually spin, but in fact the rope stayed steady, and it was this torpedo-like device that went spinning around. You can see that what looks like rocket fins are in fact slightly offset. That meant that the water playing on them made them twist. Well, as they twisted, a device inside made the counters go round. That was for units, tens and hundreds. So it kept a very accurate measure of the number of times that it twisted. Rather like the device you've got in the middle of the speedometer of your car, or perhaps the one you've got on your bicycle. Every time the wheel goes round, a spike on a spoke ticks the thing on one uh, extra click. Well, it was tremendous. For the first time, ships could really see how fast they'd gone and how far they'd travelled. And with that, they could calculate very accurately their place in the world. It was a great improvement on the logs that had gone before. And in a tick, we'll show you how they operated. You heard of going at the rate of knots? What's that all about? Well, a knot is a nautical mile. It's how ships measure their progress. And it's not the same as a land mile. Uh, a knot is about 1.15 land miles. It suits the sailors to work in distances that are a fraction of the distance around the earth. That's what a knot is. But why a knot? How does that come into it? Well, it all comes in because the way you measured your knots and the way you travelled in a ship was with this. It's a ship's log. And you can see it's actually a piece of wood, which is a section of a circle, weighted down the bottom with lead. It was either a strip like that or lead plugs. It's got three ropes going into it, one of them being on a removable peg. The idea was this. You chuck this overboard, and that, because of the lead weighting, sat upright in the water. It didn't sink, but it sat upright. And that stopped it being dragged through the water. So when you chucked it overboard, it stayed still, and the ship sailed away from it. And you could pay out all this line, and at intervals along the line, in fact, every 14.4 metres, you would mark it with a knot. And the first one had one knot, the second one had two knots, the third one had three, you get the idea. And the unit of time was peculiarly 28 seconds, which was measured with an hourglass. So you turned the hourglass over, threw the log out, and when the sand ran out of the hourglass, clamp on the rope and say, oh yes, that's so many knots. Well, let's see how it goes. Let's get the rope ready. I think we're ready to heave. Could you start the hourglass now? Okay, that's the end of 28 seconds. Well, let's see where we are. We're not on a knot, but just down here, not very far away, is this. What does it say? As you can see, it's got four knots on it. So we're going at almost four knots. Not very fast, but a nice leisurely pace. Now we've got to retrieve it. Let's test this peg. Give it a good jerk, and we should be able to reel it in fairly easily. Well, that takes a bit of time, and so I'm going to tie it off here and show you what replaced this primitive chip log because it wasn't terribly effective. At least it wasn't terribly accurate. Much better was this thing, the torpedo log. It looks pretty primitive now, but it was a breakthrough in its day. It was designed to go along behind the ship underneath the water, and it sailed in a nice smooth straight line. And attached to the end of it on a long rope was a propeller long since gone. But as the propeller went spinning around, so did the rope. And you can see at the back of this log, that little gizmo spun around like that and clicked up the distance on a series of pointers. The trouble is with a rope like that it collects bits of seaweed and uh, things could have a go at it so it wasn't terribly effective and it was replaced by this, the much improved propeller log and that you've already seen.